so welcome back to my channel Mispronounce Adventures and this part of the trip we're making our way over to Croatia uh, currently in Romania and we're going towards the Hungarian border we're going to go from Romania through Hungary in a day or less than a day into Croatia and that's where we're going to hopefully be tonight um, if we can't get insurance to go to Serbia um, this part of the trip I'm convoying with Rob, who's got the YouTube and Instagram, Pack the Van and Go, or Archie and Me. So you've got to see the trip from a different point of view. Follow him. And yeah, we're making our way to Croatia, new country. At the minute, it's very windy on the motorway in Romania, and we're making our way towards the border. Right, approaching the border. Is it only this one open? No idea, mate. Actually, there are no lights near the lane, so I guess it's only this booth. Mm -hmm. Hola. There you go. Did we get a stamp up here? Uh, coffee. Do we get a stamp for leaving? Stampy. Hmm? Uh, it's a camper van. Go and have a look. Alright, we don't know what's going on. They've got our passports. They like Airdale Terriers, we found out. And um, we're just waiting for something to happen. Hopefully, just gets us down to come back. All sorted. So, we've got leaving Hungary, entering Romania, then leaving Romania, entering Hungary. Good. Oh, we need Hungarian vineyards. So, in Hungary, again, and we've bought our vignettes, we can use the motorway. We were kind of stuck doing that, we used a border crossing which was on the motorway. Um, a point for vignettes in Europe is just be careful you don't get ripped off. If you're crossing the border, as soon as you cross the border, there's usually somewhere to go buy a vignette, and it should just be from a machine. But you end up seeing lots of the first places you come to happen to have a ticket booth, a booth selling these vignettes. And they are more expensive um, than, the, than the actual vignette costs. There are businesses there making money. So the easiest way we found to do it is if you just go on tolls.eu and you can buy the vignettes online at the government sale price of them. Little tip I found. stop and we need to get the passports for stamp in and out and I suspect through show the V5 and that's about it hopefully hassle free so we might have been idiots cargo like industrial lorry area. So we're in Croatia. Um, yeah, off we got the right lane. Easy border crossing. Didn't even bother looking in my van, they looked in Rob's van. Uh, they didn't want to see the COVID passes so they actually scanned the COVID passes barcodes and got our sh out of Schengen stamp from Hungary and into Croatia stamp. So we're now in Croatia. Where wild camping is illegal. So it should be interesting for the next couple of days. So Croatia has pay tolls opposed to um, 
convenience. Well, it's not the most picturesque um, for our first night in Croatia. It's a car park of a motel which allows overnight parking for camper vans if you have some beers. Um, so we're currently on the border of Croatia and Bosnia and we're going to continue sort of west and a little bit north today so we can get to a um, campsite for probably for two nights or so so we can get some editing done. So the campsite we've just driven to is closed. It's a shame because it looked like quite a nice campsite. So we need a new plan. Ugh. Right, jump into Rob's van to make a game plan. So game plan sorted. Um, campsites are closing here, it's getting cold. Or, well, the campsites are closed because end of tourist season because it's getting cold, all facilities like the water and stuff has been disconnected to prevent... Wow, that's a <laughs> camera angle. So, game plan is sorted. We are just going to break the back of the width um, of Croatia. So we're going to drive to the coast, it seems campsites are open there, beaches... Um, it's a miserable day, it's raining and thought, you know what, why don't we just drive, get to the coast where we're going to head to anyway, use up some wet days and hopefully find a campsite for Rob to fill up the van and do a little few different bits and bobs. So yeah, biggish driving day but I think we're just going to pay the tolls and we're going to use the uh, toll roads and just smash it out. Additionally, uh, some other friends are on the Croatian coast coming up from Dubrovnik. So we're going to go rendezvous with them and spend some more of the trip with them. Well, after coming out some of those last tunnels, the scenery has completely changed from very wet, mountainous, foresty area to sort of a drier scrubland and as we've reached the coast I couldn't believe just, uh, just how much has changed through one set of tunnels. This is the campsite here. We just let ourselves in and he's gonna come pop by tomorrow morning and we'll pay him. Amazing. <laughs> right, just got to the park up. It's a campsite for the night, but that's the view out the back of it. Well, the sun is not out, but I guess that's a, an all right view from the back of the wet van. Well, best show you the park up in the light.
you're not Archie. A bit of sunshine burning its way through. Editing and on the vans. Not a bad day. Well, definitely not a bad spot for an admin and editing day, is it, Rob? Could be worse. Could be. <laughs> Maybe at some point we'll pay for this place as well. The sun is finally starting to come out. So a wedding party just arrived and it doesn't look like we'll be leaving our campsite anytime soon. Well, I guess that's the wedding party then. Found a scene in me. But it turns out, they for us. There are scene in me everywhere. Cliche Instagram shot. Not bad. Don't go, crap, don't go.
definitely not a bad uh, November evening in Croatia. And our last night on this campsite before we uh, head a little bit further south to go meet some friends before we head north again. I think I'll leave it there for tonight. Bye. Found us. <laughs> <laughs>